Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. So I, I got another question from the comment section and because I'm in Vegas and I have this set up, I can't share you this, the screen, but I can read it to you. It's from Dom Ever, who's um, man, he's been with the channel forever. And uh, he dropped a comment on the recent Blizzard will never buy Splinterlands video. And so shout out to Dom, good to see you buddy. And then also he goes, I wonder what would happen legally if another company bought it, wanted to buy Splinterlands. The DAO and the nodes run the game and make the decisions. So, but who actually legally owns all the assets, the code, the images, the video, and so on? And it's a great question because it allows me to continue talking about this topic that I know for some of you is like a total, you, you, you there's, there's a lot of funny comments out there about like, uh, just salty comments, frankly. This is almost gonna be like a salt mine video and I could go through and watch comment on the video, the, the, the comments out there that just for some reason hate that topic. Because here's the thing, it's actually a legitimate question. And, and I, not only could we be bought theoretically, and I don't think it's practically possible and I covered that already, but we theoretically could. And what would that look like? And you're right. The, 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 I think the thing would be one, you'd buy the nodes. That'd be like one path, one obvious path into it. Uh, Dom, right? You just, they could buy more nodes. They could buy all the nodes. Um, and you could throw a price at that and you'd have to go person by person. And some people wouldn't sell. And so that would be one of the barriers to making that a, a reality, but conceivably it's possible. And outside of that, as I tried to outline in that video, it's not even that they would ever necessarily sell Splinterlands at that point. What they would do is they would buy an SDK, a special uh, software development kit that that Splinterlands creates that will enable a package of the same thing to be replicated. And so it's like a it's a it's a new opportunity to do what Splinterlands did. That's what's for that's what's going to be for sale. It's not really going to be the Hive blockchain. It's not really going to be Splinterlands the game because can. It, They've already said Splinterlands is going to be open source. So if they want what we've got, they could just literally copy the code. But most people, the thing is, most people don't know how to do that kind of thing. And so if like an Elon Musk came along and wanted to actually throw money at something like this and just make it happen, there's only two real ways to make that happen. One is to literally buy the nodes and then control the direction of the game through that process. Um, but even that is run through the SPS governance, right? So like just because you run the node doesn't mean you can force the issue. So by the SPS, I guess, right? Like t technically throwing infinite money at the, at the in-game resources would allow you to control the direction of the game, but that's not realistic. What's realistic is that people who want to develop a game or like what we're doing would actually come out and buy an SDK, like I said, software development kit that enables, that was created and is being created right now through through things like Splinterlands partnering with the GLS and through the tower defense. They're actually, and the GLS in particular, they're gonna do, first they're gonna do soccer and then they're gonna do basketball and then they're gonna do hockey and then they're gonna do wrestling and UFC and so on. It's gonna be this SDK that allows them to do that, to replicate the, the, the product that they're creating here. And that is the thing that's for sale. And that's what a, like any sort of major investor would want to have access to because they'd want to be able to replicate what we're doing. If they had the technological understanding, they could literally hard fork um, like through the node use because um, that's happened before and that's a whole other conversation. You have to understand what a hard fork even is, let alone how those things unfold. But conceivably, you could hard fork Splinter, Splinterlands. And when to answer the question, and here's where I'll land, he says, who owns the code? Who owns the images? Who owns the video? Well, the DAO, the DAO, or sorry, the um, both the DAO and the nodes are decentralized, and in that their ownership is decentralized. Like you don't, you own the DAO and part of the DAO by holding SPS. If you have one SPS or ten million, you own part of that by having a voice in how it's spent. The nodes are operated on a decentralized network. You have one, I have ten. Somebody, Jim has five. And that operation decentralization means that no one voice quote unquote owns it. Yeah, Splinterlands created it, that it's their artwork, but they've been very public about how they're gonna be open with those things. And it's not so much that they created it, it's now out of the box. It's no longer even, it's not really owned by them in a sense, but the new cards and the new packs, which only come from them are. And do you see what I mean? Like once they sell it, 
it's in the wild and the new like a beta pack which you could still buy today is worth 40 bucks or whatever they don't have any more to print they don't have any more to mint it's just in the wild they created it at one point and they sold it to the community and so when we talk about who owns the cards well technically they do because they're on they currently run the 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 software that holds up the game but that won't be so so in the future it's just not going to be the case that these questions even linger and so the coolest thing about what would happen if there was ever a subdivision of this if some elon musk came along and wanted to, to acquire it would probably look like end up end up being a hard work because some would agree that they want that new governance and others wouldn't and the, the decentralized owner leadership that that's run through the validator nodes would would either fully agree to to go under some sort of new vision but almost certainly would be divided in that and there would be those that would go with the classic um, validator node operation. There would be those that would go with with the new the new uh, vision and developer and owner. Like in, like I say, that somebody with a massive bucks. And so that that would result in one amazing thing, which would be a duplication of all your assets. So who owns it? You do on your account. Your account, Deus Twelve or Infidel One uh, Twelve Fifty Eight or Butters 323 or whatever, it's like your account on the blockchain reflects the ownership of those assets that you've acquired through your time and attention, and now they get doubled. That they would theoretically, in this context, get doubled because that you know filthy rich investor went ahead and hard, created a hard fork moment. It's happened before in blockchain. It will happen again. And I've heard, I've heard matt talk about how that would be an interesting reality and he's not even necessarily opposed to that if that's what we the community wanted because maybe one day we will want that for a variety of reasons hard folks can be can, can open up technological doors and that's too much of its own conversation so i have to land it there but yeah it's a great question and it is possible and it's not trolling to talk about it because these really are questions that we're going to face in the future and executing these well is going to one way or another is it can have massive differences for what you receive from the assets you own but it is what you receive because at the end of the day your the blockchain contains your name and your account and the data on there is yours to buy sell rent and so that's why this is so crazy and revolutionary and that's why we actually are the owners of this thing and yes we could sell it but it's super complicated how that would work and most likely it would never really happen that way so anyways guys have an amazing day uh stay tuned for more content from vegas love you guys appreciate you god bless